Hello, readings and salutations. I am Lucretia Jean, and even though you can't see me, I do welcome you to follow the melodious sound of my voice. We're continuing on with The Wolf Among Us. Uh, we are in part five, so I'm not even going to make a big speech or anything. We're just going to get right into it. On pause. It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well... Everyone knows you. Big bad wolf. <laughs> well, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Not exactly comfortable with it either, but... Hey, you play the hand you're dealt. Well, some folks are forced to play with shit. That's a lovely image. Guess you want to know about the girl. Amongst other things, sure. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want! Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. And they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Bigby? It's not like that. There are problems with the way things go, I get it. But that's got nothing to do with what's happening right now. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before, and it doesn't end well. I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. <coughs> that all you got? Seemed to be enough. Don't be so sure. Oh, good. You should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. He's had enough!
Whiskey. Double. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? No. If you come quietly, you'll be treated with respect. But if it turns out that you killed that girl, well, you know what that means. All right. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck. You said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. Shit. The guy's covered in blood and you let him go? No one asked you. Ah! Come on. You're under arrest. I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. Anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. All right. We had something very special. Who else is involved? The girl with the coat. Where's the rest of her? Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh God, and it's one of us. Wait. The big fat guy's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks for not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. We can arrange that. Uh, what did you do? Uh, friend on friend. At the end of the end. Jesus Christ, Big Beef. 
Is that you? Okay, so at the end of each chapter, they let you know how your choices paired up with everybody who's played the game. <clears throat> so, me and 15.5% of players uh, did not give Faith our money. 19.5% tried to stay out of it. We went to go see Prince Lawrence first instead of helping Toad. We did prevent his death, so apparently if we went to go see Toad, um, Prince Lawrence would be dead. So, we did the pimp, and we went with the woodsman instead of the tweedles. Okay. Give this a moment to load. It's thinking about it. It's thinking about it. It's thinking about letting us keep on going on. Keep on keeping on. <laughs> And here we are. We're going to start episode two. Smoke and mirrors. Let's see. Let's find out what happened to Snow White. Mr. Toad? Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! <laughs> You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cur- You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Just like Please, binging baby. a uh, season me you won't tell Beast you of saw a TV me. show on Netflix, we have to go Look, through the recap. Whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I cannot I'm fast forward. It. It's not what you might be thinking. So here we are. Have you seen my wife? Rewatching everything have you we've seen already Beauty? done. Come with me. That's ahead. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my poor. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and the... Uh, they're gonna string me up, Big B. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. Ah! You said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. This fucking lapdog. He comes sniffing around this part of town where the rich fucks and the woodlands need a shit. <laughs> Isn't that right, Bigby? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. And they all lived happily ever after. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. There's no need to get aggressive. I'm trying to help you. Mm-hmm. Look. I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. You're... you're right. 
I can't imagine what you're going through right now. She is not good at her job. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? That is pretty specific. No, didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. Are you okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? Yeah. Please. Please. Go, now. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours. And everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. Thanks for bailing me out. Certainly. We, uh, found the woodsman chained up to a post last night. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, thanks to you, there's been at least some hope in this whole dreadful affair. I'm confident he has some information about the slayings. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. And he's already to the point of confession. I'll see what's what when we get back home, but for now, let's just shut up for a while, all right? We have to formulate a plan of action, Big B. I will. Just not right now. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah. It's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she uh, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. 
She said that she wanted to change things, make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. As I came down. I met a maid who asked my trade, and a sailor John said I. And away you sent he, my dear Annie. Oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? Look sharp, Woodsman. You have visitors. Why is he singing? Some sort of pathetic defensive mechanism. Never mind that, though. He will tell us eventually who killed Snow White. I have too many methods to inspire him. Bluebeard, I told you not to touch him until we returned. I didn't. Well, barely. And yet you saw fit to retrieve it's a... It's hardly been used. Yet. Hello, Sheriff. Come to help? Because I think I have a secure handle on things. Help? No. I'll be doing the questioning from now on. Oh, really? Let me tell the story. I can tell it all. About the mountain boy who ran illegal alcohol. <sighs> Woody. That you, Bigby? I didn't kill that girl, Wolf. And I don't have a thing to tell you, so get me the fuck out of these straps. Save your energy. You'll need it later. We're gonna, all right, but we have to have a little chat first. Snow White is dead. I'll tell you what I already told this, Blue Dandy. I didn't kill anybody. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Look, I got questions and I know you have answers. Whether or not they're the answers I want, well, I guess we'll find out. <sighs> Whenever you're ready, Sheriff. Why were you beating up Faith? She said something about... Uh, that she'd asked who you were, and then you just started hitting her. Something's not adding up for me here. Look, I got nothing to say, so just... just let me go. Please, just let me go. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this? I'll take care of it. What are you planning to do, exactly? Don't forget what we talked about. What did you tell him? I just want to talk. See what he knows. Oh, give me a break. We need answers, Bigby. Though it's ultimately up to you, of course. I didn't do nothing for fuck. What's that? You want to know what this is? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Take a good fucking look. Take a good long look. Etch it into your fucking memory. I told you, I have no goddamn clue about what's going on. I, I didn't have nothing to do with it. You want to tell me why you were hitting Faith now? I got a temper, that's all, and I was drunk. She didn't know who I was. I'm sorry I hit her, but I didn't kill nobody. You gotta believe me. You told me he was at the point of confession. He was. He is. He said Snow wasn't even supposed to be there. Now what do you exactly take that for? He knows what's happening. All right, that's something. Did you say that, Woody? Where are you talking about? Where was she supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? She was... nothing. Nothing was supposed to happen. It's my own shit, all right? Just... forget it. Where's... where's my stuff? I want to smoke, you 
You took my smokes. We, uh, confiscated his belongings. For the time being. This was all we could find on him in any case. Nothing exceptional to speak of. Much like the man himself, I'd say. You want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? Let me handle this. Tell me what you meant by Snow wasn't supposed to be there. You've got it all wrong. I, I can't. Just leave it alone. I don't want to talk about it. Just don't waste a fucking time. Woody, just tell us what you know, so you can go home. I didn't... I didn't say Snow, okay? I never said that. Yes, you did. She wasn't supposed to even be there. She, that's it. Not Snow. I, I don't know fucking anything about Snow. Okay, that's something. You weren't talking about Snow, but who did you mean? Who wasn't supposed to be there? I... I can't get into it. This imbecile will have him going in circles. You ever sober? Let me... Let me get a swig of that. Want some? Back off, Bluebeard. This isn't your job. Get your answers, or I'm taking over. Not gonna happen. Woody? Who wasn't supposed to be there? A girl. Which girl? I can't... Just... Just let me go. Stop protecting whoever murdered these women. I don't care what your friends have told you. You have to tell us what's going on. The girl. It was... Faith, all right? Faith. Faith? This is about her? I was expecting someone else, and this girl I didn't even know shows up. Who were you expecting? I, uh... I don't know. Talk! Now! No one's behind anything. This... I can't get into it. It's my own personal shit, so fuck off. Loosen these, will ya? I ain't going nowhere. Come on, man. They're cutting off circulation. <sighs> Who were you expecting? Lily. Lily? Who's Lily? Lily is Holly's sister. Holly? The bartender? From the Trip Trap? Her sister's... Yeah. Her sister's a prostitute. I was a regular of hers, okay? I paid, she did her thing, and that was it. When Faith came to the door, it just set me off. Lily usually conked me if I didn't have cash. Faith didn't want to give me a break. Just please, don't, don't tell anyone, Bigby. Gren and her, that whole bar, they just, they wouldn't understand. Well, congratulations, Sheriff. We've been here for God knows how long, and what do we have to show for it? A thorough retelling of the woodsman's sexual misadventures. This barbarian knows more than he's letting on. You can't continue to treat him like some stupid American waif. I really think it's going the best that it can. Then you have no imagination, I'm sorry to say. He's talking, all right? My methods work fine. 
No, they don't. They're not working at all. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. <clears throat> what do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! Snow White is dead. She was one of us, not one of them. Snow! What's going on down here? Snow. Snow White is alive. And we are going to end this one here. Uh, sorry about the long period of time where we're going over all the stats and everything. <clears throat> but in case you forgot, I am the Krisha Jean. You may always follow the melodious sound of my voice. And I will see you when we continue on in the next episode. Bye!